What's up, party people? Android Stud here, man, and Happy New Year to everybody out there. Thanks for watching the channel. Today I have the Pocophone F1, got that sexy red skin on it, and I'm running a new ROM on the Pocophone F1. It is Android based, obviously, um, it is called Paranoid Android, and this is the Paranoid Android Quartz uh, based on, or Q based on Android 10. Now, I've always loved the Paranoid Android ROMs. They've made them for a lot of different devices, but now they have it for the Pocophone, and I absolutely love this ROM. It's been pretty smooth. Now, this is still a beta, so it's not 100%, but you do get the Google feed there on the left when you swipe to the left there. So um, you got everything rocking and rolling on here. Now, there's a couple cool things that it has on here. It comes with um, this little... Um, music player i think it's called retro music player or something like that um so let's hear the uh let's play a little beat here i got some songs here from epidemic so we don't get any kind of flags or anything like that but this is a pretty cool little music player it's got the the dark beat So it's pretty cool. Um, nice little music player there. Now it's got the basic uh, Google dialer here, so you're good to go. Then it has the text messaging app here. So, you know, basic Android messaging there. I believe you could still download the Android messaging. I think this is the messaging that comes with the Paranoid Android. Um, you get the, you get a camera, Google camera. You can uh, install the Google camera, the ANX camera, whatever you'd like to do. Now, this got some pretty cool like it's got, you can change all these colors here, which is kind of cool. You could also add some stuff. You want to add hotspot to your notification tray there. Your, um, you know, in case you wanted to, you know, put hotspot, you just drag it in there. Or you wanted to put a dark theme, you put it in there. Now, if you want to hit the dark theme, just go like this. And we'll hit the dark theme there. Boom. And then we're dark. So if you go into settings... You got the dark theme and you're ready to go. Um, there's some pretty cool uh, features on here. I mean, you could see um, your battery, um, obviously screen on time, all the basic stuff. You got your displays here, but you got, you got a lot of different things. If you want to change your accent color there, you can. Uh, they have a bunch of different colors there. I just keep it on the default because I like green, but you got a lot of different colors. Teal, cinnamon, pixel blue, all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, really good. Um, ROM doesn't have a lot of features, but it's got some cool features on here. Uh, if we go into the about phone here and let's check out the Android 10 version, you see there I'm on the Quartz 1 dev, dev development version. Uh, latest patch is December 5th, a little behind, but this is a beta version. So I'm going to show you how to install this too at the end of the video so you guys can get rocking and rolling uh, on here. But it's got the dark theme going here, but it's really smooth. I just, I love the way this ROM is just simple and, and basic Android. Um, as we all know, the Pocophone F1 comes with MIUI 11 or 10, or, yeah, uh, 10 or 11. And, you know, it gets some getting used to, um, very iPhone-ish at times, but this stock Android is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, you just... You could just really get get going here, get ro really ro grooving and rolling here on this uh, on this phone, and it's got some really good uh, features here. Now, the launcher is the Paranoid launcher, um, you know, so you have to go in here. You get your Styles app here, so if you want to add some uh, wallpapers here, uh, let's allow access here. You could do all kinds of stuff. I took some pictures there, me looking crazy. You got the styles app so if you want to change different uh fonts and stuff like on the pixel launcher you have all that stuff so you can change the shape you can do all kinds of stuff there you could even do a custom uh you could change your clock you could do bubbles you could do analog clock which is kind of cool i think i might take that or you could do a type here you know it's 339 
but I think I might rock the uh, the 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 clock, the analog clock. So if you just kind of turn it off, and you get all your notifications on your lock screen. So if you get a text message, you're gonna see it right on your lock screen. Um, so really cool. I then don't think tap the wake works, but um, pretty much everything else works here as far as notifications and all that good stuff. But you have to basically install a few files. You have to install the Paranoid Android file. You have to install the vendor, then the firmware, then uh, firmware, then the Google apps, and then disable force encryption so that your, your phone doesn't get encrypted. Um, so that's very important. But I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Uh, comes with the Chromium um, uh, browser, so you probably have to download Chrome if you want to do chrome on here let's type in chrome but yeah it shouldn't be hard to get the chrome i'm gonna install it anyway because i like using chrome but they have their own it's called chromium uh browser which is kind of it's a cool browser um you get your camera you get your music app um kind of some basic stuff you got a files app also gallery app so there's some cool stuff on here. I mean, the face unlock does not work because obviously Google shut that down. They're not having no more face unlock on there. But let's get this started. And the way that you will do that is you want to go into your Google account and remove it. Remove any fingerprint, remove any kind of security on here because you want to have a problem doing all that. So you, we're going to uh, boot into twerp and you do that by hitting volume, down, uh, volume up and power button. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we're in twerp. Um, it's real easy. You wanna go in twerp. Now you wanna make sure you have all your files. So let's go in here. I have a bunch of files in here, so try to stay with me. Uh, but the one that you need is that PA uh, Quartz 1 uh, 2019-1228. That's the one you need. And you also need the vendor file, which is the one, let's see if we can find it there. The vendor file, there's the vendor there on the bottom. And then you need the firmware, which is that sucker right there, the FW barrel room. But I'll leave links to all these and then your disable force encryption there. Um, I'll leave, and also that NX, NX camera works on here so you can install that if you know what you're doing. Um, but the first thing we're gonna do is we have to wipe our device. So you're gonna go into advanced wipe right there. You can hit Dablick, cache, system and data. Now this is gonna erase all your stuff on your phone. So make sure you, uh, um, is your data, but it'll keep your pictures uh, most likely. So, but I'm not responsible for your stuff. If you don't know what you're doing, then you're a knucklehead, but here we go. We're gonna go ahead and wipe that down. That should take two seconds, not even that long. And then you're gonna install the, the PA Quartz 1 uh, for the Pocophone. Go ahead and swipe that. And then the next thing you're gonna uh, do is your vendor, then your firmware, then your G apps, and then your disable force encryption. So let's let this do its thing. This should take a minute or two. All right, so it installed the Paranoid Android, so you're gonna go back out, hit the home button, install, and now you're gonna do the vendor right there. And you're going to swipe that, let that install. That should take another minute, maybe less. Let's see, it's kind of moving and grooving. I don't think I'll have to use the trick of editing to get to the next thing. So that's done. So then you go back up and you're gonna flash your firmware, which is the global right there, global 11.0 point whatever. And then you're gonna install that. Let's go back and make sure that's the vendor. That is the vendor, right? Yeah, that is the vendor, okay. I mean, yeah, no, that is the firmware, sorry. There's your firmware there to make sure you get it correct. But I'll leave all links to these down in the description so you won't have any issues uh, flashing your device. That should take a couple seconds. And then we're gonna install the G apps. And the one I use, the Nano ones, uh, you can use the Pico or the Fool, it doesn't matter, uh, as long as you put one of them in there. Um, so I'm gonna do the Nano one, G apps, flash that in there. That should take 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Um, 
shouldn't take that long. And then when we get back, we're gonna flash the disable force encryption, and then we're gonna reboot and we're good to go. All right, so the G app's installed, we're good to go there. So we go back to the home button and then we're gonna, we're gonna uh, flash the disable force encryption right there. So we'll go ahead and hit that one and then we'll slide to the right. That'll take one second basically. And then you're basically done. And then all you gotta do is hit reboot system. I know it's a lot of files guys, but you know, it takes a little bit. You're gonna see the Poco phone screen and then you're gonna see the little paranoid Android little logos um, that will be on there. Now, the one thing I'll tell you, if this should take no longer than four to five minutes, but if it takes longer than that, then you're gonna to have to hit the power button and reboot the phone and then it should kick on and I'll show you how to do that in a sec. All right, so it's been more than five minutes and it's stuck in this little boot loop. So what you gotta do is just hit the power button here on the side, hold it down until it reboots again. Hold it down there and then it will reboot for you. It should go into the Pocophone screen. There it goes, let it go and let it do its thing again. And it should boot it, boot in, should boot up within five minutes. All right, so that took less than a minute for it to boot. After I did that reboot on the Paranoid Android logo, it went into the setup screen, so you're ready to go. So if you follow those steps, man, you're gonna have Paranoid Android. Let me know how you like it. Let me know if you are enjoying the device, but I really like this ROM. It's one of my favorites that are out there for a lot of these uh, Android devices. It's the reason that I am the stud, because I love Android. I love the customization. I love the different devices that you can use, and you're not just stuck with one device, but you could try out many different things and you have the freedom to be amazing. So that's gonna do it, man. I'm Android Stud. Thanks for watching. For watch. Thanks so much for watching um, the Poco Phone with Paranoid Android. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys later. And remember, Happy New Year.